Hey there, I'm Matthew McConaughey, and this is my career in four minutes. Once you've got HIV, you're married to it. If you want to go the way that I prescribe it, you are going to live longer and enjoy the time you got here more. Listen to his live album. I don't know what the live album is. I don't have it anymore. Jim Morrison, he's in concert, and in between songs, he barks at the crowd, all right, all right, all right, all right. I wasn't, didn't think about it having anything to do with my character in Days Confused, but when I got up there about to do the take, and I got a little anxious, and started thinking about what's my character about, and I went through the four things. I said, well, Wooderson, he, Wooderson is here. He's about rock and roll. Well, I've got Ted Nugent on. He's, he's, he's about weed. Well, Wooderson's high. Well, he's about his car. Well, I'm in my 70s Chevelle. What else is he about? Oh, he's about chicks and then I heard action and it hit me I was like oh well I've got three out of four and I'm going to get the fourth all right all right all right so I said the three all rights I changed the tone and that's when it came up I wasn't thinking about the Morrison it just came out of my mouth and ended up being the first words I ever said on film I feel good about that time I mean you know there's been a narrative that some people have said oh there was a then and now what happened and I was like well that's that's what I was wanting to do then that's what I did uh, that's what I enjoyed. That's the, what also pays my rent, you know, puts food on my table. And, and there's an enjoyment I found in, in those. They were never critically acclaimed, like stuff that I'm doing now has more critical acclaim. But there's a, um, they're, they're, they're a fun exercise doing those. There's a lightness, and the challenge is staying light, staying buoyant with those. I, I'm not arrogant enough to say, I wish I'd have done anything different in my past because obviously whatever I did has led to where I am right now and I'm enjoying where I am. I mean, I, I was always, I've always had interest in the, in the justice system, the criminal justice system, and I was, gonna, I was headed towards law school before I got into acting. I thought that was what I was gonna do. I thought I was gonna be a, a defense lawyer. I'm glad I chose my path, which is acting. I'm glad it worked out for me, and I'm glad I get to go play a lawyer for five months and then quit and do something else ambitious. He's very knowledgeable, knows what he wants. There's no problem that can even arise because before it can even arise, he's already into solving the problem. The way his mind works, the way his mind is able to bring complete abstract thought and make it into a tangible thing on screen and create rules of his own world and follow those rules in his story. He's got a wonderful mind. Scorsese, musical, loves funny, you know, uh, um, to hear him laugh gives me a lot of energy. I think I made him laugh with the, my nonverbal uh, expressions that I was doing as Mark Hanna. He loved funny and he was promoting more funny. And the last few takes, he just came over and was making sounds with me and was like, more of this, more of that, more of that. He, he, just, he loved the, he's very musical, obviously. And, uh, and I'm musical, so that's where we sort of communicated was on a, on a rhythmic level. Friedkin. One take, Bill. One take. We go do one take. He, he's a guy. You know, that's that's all we really did on Killer Joe was one take. That's all we really needed. There comes a. You know, you can look at that two ways. Like, oh my God, I'm fearful. Or you can look at it like, well, I've got nothing to lose because I only got one take. Um, I think most of the cast felt like there was a freedom in having the one take. Um, and he's wild, but he knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, look. Once we were making it, I was in. I was I couldn't, it's hard to even tell you what was hard about the making of it because I was never even a voyeur on what we were doing by that time. I think the most challenging part was the fact that we just got it made after 20 years and being turned down and rejected 137 times, the fact that we got it to the screen. Mr. Woodruff, what is going on? People are dying. It's gonna be a pain in your ass till I'm six feet under, big boy. Even the best of them are America's most wanted, even the best of them fall.